Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Wednesday. It's November the 7th, 2012. Obama has been re-elected as president, and uh, now we get to deal with it. Okay, looking at the S&P 500, the SPX, I'm going to talk about this and this massive move to the downside we're seeing here uh, today. Uh, this is just the start, and this is going to be something you need to think about. What I'm going to show you on this chart and a couple other ones are, are going to be uh, something you can apply to all charts. Now, if you go to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, you will find my personal charts updated every single night with my stop loss limits, my entry opportunities, so forth and so on, for 19 major markets going around the globe, including Europe and the U.S., so forth and so on. So uh, that you can check out whenever you'd like, and I'd recommend you do that tonight because I will be updating the European market charts. That's see great opportunities there for short side uh, trades, so keep that in mind. Now let's look at the U.S. right quick and again point out that everything I tell you here will be applicable to any other chart you look at. Uh, we talked about this for uh, some period of time. We told you this little move here. You had uh, seen a, a peak period here. Uh, we didn't know it until the trend had changed at that point. We were still seeing higher series of highs, higher series of lows, so the trend was still up. Uh, then we come up here and we fail to break out. Now at this point, we still have higher highs, I mean, so have higher lows, so we, we're sideways. We don't really know which the direction is going to change or we just consolidate before making it higher. All this stuff is just something we're keeping an eye on. We eventually get stopped out of this long trade here, right here, and we start to break down and we take out a previous low. Now we have a series of lower highs and lower lows that tells us the trend has changed. The following bounce is, in fact, a short opportunity. She bounces to the upside. We get short. Down she goes. Once that happens, your trend has changed from an uptrend to a downtrend. There's a moment in the middle where it's just kind of moving sideways, rolling over. Uh, once that happens, you stop trading like you were. You stop trying to call a bottom. I keep going out there and seeing people talking about the, in the markets. Okay, now we've, we've probably hit bottom. I'm going to buy. Stop it. Just stop. Whenever you're in an uptrend, you buy at or below the 50 period moving average as being the best quality opportunities. When you're in a downtrend, you change that. You say, okay, we flip it upside down. We're now in a downtrend, so we can see we have lower series of highs and lower series of lows. That would mean that the short opportunities, the best ones, will be at or above the 50 period moving average. Here, here, here. These were great short opportunities. Now, looking at this candlestick formation here, why did we take out this low? We told you going back uh, over here, you had support at that point. You rallied up here, failed pull back, tried again, failed, pull back lower, tried again, failed again. The idea that from this point here, the same point you were at before, that you can come up here and rally and break out is ridiculous. We told you that when it was going on. So this was the little bounce to the upside, looking for a short opportunity. That's what you should be doing. We're already short, so we're just loving it. If you're not, we believe this is just getting started, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, right now, I want to point out that this candlestick formation right here, Nothing bullish about it. You'll notice the size of the candlestick formation larger than the previous selling here or here. The sell pressure is increasing. The, the motivation and the momentum to the downside is improving. It's, it's, it's getting better for bears, not worse. So again, stop trying to call a bottom and buy this thing. Start looking for sell opportunities. One last item I want to show you on this chart, the S&P 500 will also uh, work on the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We talked about this when it was going on. Uh, we've been seeing this little setup here, this being a first shoulder, this being a head formation, and this being the second shoulder formation, roughly peaking at the same level as the first shoulder. Uh, what that tells you is that there's a bigger move developing to the downside here. And I, I've looked at it a million different ways. And again and again, I keep seeing signs of a bigger crash coming. I keep warning about that, and maybe people are listening by now. Uh, what we're seeing with that is being this low point here and here. We're talking about the next line being here. Once you've closed below it, which you have done today, you would simply measure out the distance from the highest point. You can use the closes or the highest point. We'll use the highest points for the heck of it. You take, you measure it down mathematically to the neckline, do the math, figure out what that d distance is, and then subtract that number from the close below that neckline. That tells you how low you have to go before you start to find some kind of support when you're looking at a head and shoulders formation, a major top signal. That can give you some idea of how much more downside potential you actually can see before this thing even considers reversing. So stop trying to call a bottom here. 
Regarding the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you'll notice that this chart is basically the same thing as the S&P 500 with a little bit of a difference here. You can see that we are now trading below, closing below the 200 period moving averages green line right here. The S&P 500 does not show that because it's still trading above it. Now if the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ are both trading below the uh, actual 200 period moving average, they're both in bear market territory, very bearish signals. It's telling you that this little uptrend that we've been seeing for a while is falling apart and that would tell you to look for the S&P 500 to also trade down below and close below the 200 period moving average. Again, telling you that, that you've not seen a bottom on the S&P 500. In fact, you should see more selling. Uh, again, when I'm talking about this, and I, I mentioned it several times um, in different ways, but uh, this one, the same overall formation going on. We just talked about major uh, head and shoulders formation happening here. And, and again, we've now closed below the neckline, so we've got much more move to downside. If you were watching uh, the videos that we talked about, I think it was last Thursday, my, I believe it was this day here, we told you that I can see the Dow Jones Industrial Average losing another 1,000 points. Well, a third of that's now been taken off the table, right? Okay, so you still have 600 points that are downside, or 700 points that are downside. Sorry, I can't do math apparently. And uh, so, yeah, there's major moves still in formation here, and again, pointing out closing with the 200 day period moving average, ergo this is very bearish, it's a bear market it's a signal for anybody who's uh, looking to trade the markets in one direction or the other. When you close below the 200 period moving average, the market is able to do that. It's a very, very bearish signal for the market. And again, note the size of this candlestick compared to the previous. We are growing in our uh, downside strength here. So this is not something you want to be trying to call a bottom at. Again, no hammer candlestick formation here. You couldn't call this a bottom if you wanted to regardless. And again, this is the same little point that we talked about before this little support will not hold because you tried over here to break out failed to do so the idea that from the same point after failing at it one two three times that you're going to now break through it was ridiculous this is a great short opportunity and now your resistance that you had up here is actually going to be here 50 period moving average on all your charts that's what you want for your best short opportunities trading at or above the 50 period moving average but well, that will be strong resistance any bounce that you were to get if you were to happen to get some kind of news like that and we were to jump up here uh, the following day I think it's a long shot but if you were I'd short it clean this chart up again one last thing that I want to point out here the Dow Jones Industrial Average we covered yesterday a longer term picture and if you watch that video it's the only chart we showed you uh, you can actually know that today's activity to the downside on that chart would actually be telling you that now is the time to start selling. It's a sell signal. It's the start of a major move to the downside. I think the thing was titled something like another flash crash is brewing or something like that. But it was put out yesterday. So check that out and th that's what I got for you today. If you've not been to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, I recommend you do so. And I mentioned I would be updating the European chart, showing you some sell signals that I see out there. Uh, you can go right here to the market section of the perfectstockalert.com website and go down here to chart notes, click on that, and that will give you my personal notes on every one of the charts that we track here. There's 19 of them, uh, you know, Europe included, and so forth and so on. You can scroll on down, select the ones you want to see, you'll see what I see, okay? And you'll know how to trade it, right? All right, awesome, cool. See you later. God bless. It. Take care. See you in the next one. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.